Yeah, the, you're right that the, the public uh, land use zone doesn't have designated trails uh, associated with it. And so the idea would be that, uh, and this, the Clearwater Trails Initiative asked us for this, put in place a, a public land use zone and then we'll undertake a multi-year uh, a process of planning uh, uh, things like uh, uh, good loops, uh, staging areas, bridges, that kind of stuff. But as for the, because there are no designated trails right now, you're right, because it's, uh, it's not a public land use zone. Uh, but what would happen is the, uh, the current trails would be open uh, uh, until there were uh, stakeholder plans for uh, 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 any changes that might be made. According to the Public Lands Act, the operation of a motor vehicle within the public land use zone is permitted only in the areas or on trails that have been designated for that purpose by signs or notices posted by an officer in a zone pursuant to this regulation. It means, the moment the government turns the Bighorn West Country into the largest public land use zone Alberta has ever seen, all the existing trails that won't be designated will become illegal. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? In 2018, Porcupine Hills Livingston Public Land Use Zone was created and the government closed 74% of the existing trails. Is this what you want for your favourite trail? <laughs>